So welcome again to this uh, a little bit of a break, but we're back on track. We've got the last of March's games, which um, unfortunately didn't get finished before I had some work to do, so it's been a little while. Um, but let's see um, how this game goes. This is St Mirren versus Rangers. So let's have a look, as we usually do, with the teams. So we've got uh, St Mirren, the home team here. They've got Hladkin Gol, Waters, Famuo, McCarthy and Hodson at the back for... Dormash, Foley, McPherson and Marias in midfield with Andrew Andreu playing that uh, cam role and Obika in goal and for Rangers they've got McGregor in goal Barisic and uh, Helanda, Goldson and Tavernier making up the back four uh, Kamara, Davis and Jack in midfield with the front three of Kent, Aribo and Morales in a sort of narrow 4-3-3 shape which is their game plan at the moment so let's just get into this and see how the teams do today obviously not those commentators you're stuck with me so this is uh black and white uh Samirin and paisley and not traveling that far especially because it's all digital uh rangers in the red away strip so let's just get into the game it's going to be st Mirren kicking off from left it to right and here's Waters with the ball uh, he gets taken off him by Aribo, Aribo's now got the ball, he cuts it back to Tavernier over to Jack, Jack back to Tavernier Tavernier's got a little bit of space now makes a little bit more for Jack, back to Aribo this is an excellent bit of play from Rangers but the cross shot from Aribo goes flashing across the face of goal He's kind of hit it with the outside of his foot and it's kind of flashed across the goal and nobody's taken a gamble on it and so it just trickles out of play on the far side of the goal goal kick. But that was a good promising bit of play from a Rangers point of view. They uh, got the ball fairly early and made some good passes. So Mirren will be trying to contain them a little bit today. Andrew heads it back fully. McPherson, McPherson again, it's cut out, and so Kamara now to uh, Morelos, Morelos, back heel to Barisic, Barisic has got options, and he plays it to Morelos in the end, another fancy pass, Kamara now, Kent though, it's well blocked, and St Mirren have the chance to work it out, McPherson, McPherson to Marias, Marias has a fair bit of space now, he's got Barisic breathing down his neck, and his cross is cut out and it's a good pass up to Morelos and Kamara to Jack. Now there's some options there but he's maybe a little indecisive and so Rangers able to get the ball clear and Morelos has it taken off him. Well, this is interesting, McPherson again uh, over to Andreu. Andreu is a bad pass but it's made its way and Abeka hits the crossbar of the post and then it's tipped over the bar by McGregor. Oh, it's the post. And that's not a bad second shot. But McGregor is equal to it. And so St Mirren, surprisingly enough, have been the second best team in the game so far. But they've had the better chance. Corner comes in then. Andrew. It's in at the near post. And it looks like it's come off a of Vickers head. It did indeed. Uh, he beat his man at their post, but he's uh, too tight an angle, and it's just kind of looped over and wide. So, a good spell for St. Mirren this, um, well, the last two or three minutes, really. And before that, Rangers looked the most likely to get into the promising positions, but they seem to be doing well on the break, St. Mirren, at the moment. Aribo now picks up the second ball. And plays it back for Jack. Jack's got acres of space in midfield. Kamara to Morelos. Morelos to Barisic. Back to Morelos. And it's played into Kent. Kent's trying to find a way through, but there are just so many black and white shirts there. Hudson hoofs the ball up. Obika's chasing it, but it's going to be Halander who gets there first. He heads it up to Davis, to Kamara, to Jack. Jack to Kent. Kent's got so much space. Plays it onto Aribo. 
back to Kent, but it's well blocked. McCarthy works the ball out. The Waters now. Bit of space, a nice little chip ball to Andre. Back to Waters. Waters' ball in now is intercepted. And Arebo has it now. Kamara finds Kent. Morales finds Kent. Back to Morales, back to Kent. Kent though runs into McCarthy and McPherson able to get it out to Foley. Andre. He plays the ball on for Dunge to chase, but Tavernier is easily going to get there. In fact, Dunge gives up the, the chase. Tavernier into Jack. Jack's now. Plays on for Davis to run on to, but Obeka gets there. Andre has now uh, got the ball in a promising position. He's a little unsure what to do with it, and it's in the end it's a weak pass. It's easily cut out, and so... Rangers now have a chance. Morales to Kent, to Jack, to Ariba, to Jack. Jack plays a nice ball. Tavernier is onside. Brings it in, chips it in, but it's well cleared out. But it's back in the mix now. Barisic with a chance to cross. Takes it past his man. But Morales in the end is uh, running down the wing with it. He's got again Barisic in... Behind him, Obika gets the ball back. Marias back into Andrea and back to Obika. He's got the man on. Oh, well, he just timed that run perfectly, Foley, but uh, the shot in the end was a little weak and McGregor easily claims it. But Rangers have really got to be um, concerned on the break. St. Mirren are quite dangerous. Can okay, now Morales. Back to Kent. Picks it past his man, but then passes it out to Barisic. And this is a real opportunity, but the cross was just too late coming in. And, and in the end, it was dealt with quite easily by St Mirren. So McPherson, he's got some space on this left wing. Oof, that's a poor pass. And deflected out. So now Rangers have a chance to break Kent. Kamara. Davis. It's out, but only as far as Kamara. This is Morales now, gets a turn and shot, but it gets cleared out. Now Bicker goes up against Holanda, but again, Holanda is going to win that one. Kamara to Jack. Well, it's played in nicely to Morales, and this time Kent, well, he's hammered that over the bar. And that's probably the best chance they've had so far in terms of positioning but he's maybe snapped at that I think he had more time than he thought he did and maybe a bit of confidence from Kent really there so first half is um, winding up to a close and as we said St Mirren have had less of the sort of dangerous play but more of the dangerous chances in this first half and they've done very well in containing Rangers and Keeping on top of them. They've put a lot of bodies behind the ball. Morales turns, but he's uh, well defended out of it. But it's one back. But then the pass is a poor one. And now Dumas has got this chance. He's got a lot of space on this wing. Because he's uh, got some bodies in the box as well. But that is a terrible cross. And it's well read in the end by Galton. And Galton under pressure kicks it out. So there's about a minute left of normal time in this first half and St Mirren have a throw in deep inside the Rangers half but it goes all the way back oh that's a uh, sneaky play plays into Fofoli but Aribo cuts out the pass and now is this a chance for Rangers to get the last of the first half pressure to count for anything no a bit too much passing around and the first half finishes. So the first half finishes 0-0. Yeah, can slow day of, slow day at the office. Um, one shot on target, one off ta two off target. Is uh, maybe yeah, it feels like a little bit of lack of confidence on his part. So, so it's 0-0. These are the highlights from the first half. As usual, we'll watch through these. This was Aribo. 
shot cross. Really, that no one took a gamble on, on being there to tap in, but um, it was technically a shot, I guess. It went wide. But this one was uh, a bicker hitting the post, and then Andreu hitting it into the ground. Maybe he was going over anyway, but uh, it wasn't something that McGregor was going to gamble on. And then from that throw-in, Booker again with the chance, but uh, as we said before, is a bit of an angle. And that was probably uh, it from St Mirren's chances. This one from Kent, though, look at the space that he had where he's hit it. And then he toe poked it and it's just flown off his foot and into the stands. So that's the first half. Uh, five shots to four in favour of Rangers, but uh, two, only two on target. 60 40 in terms of possession. And as the tackles from St. Mirren have been good defensively, they've really sort of held Rangers back and only half chances so far in that first half. But let's see how the second half goes. So here is Kent up to Kamara. into Kent and he's got some options goes into Arriba Davis Davis plays it through to Kent it's again blocked Foley Marias Marias's ball has got out easily in the end in midfield and Jack now has it he's got Tavernier making the run Arriba gets it though Marias a lot of bodies forward but a lot of bodies back for St Mirren this hook goes out to Barisic. He's managed to keep it in. That's going to be Clark. He punches it. McPherson more or less wins the header. Hodson gets to it first as well. And so Famuo. Hodson. Well, that's a, a phenomenal ball. I think um, Marais was maybe concerned he was offside. But it uh, was a real chance there. But Rangers have it now in midfield, and it's Morellas to Jack. And it's, his pass is cut out, and so Foley has it now. Foley up to Andreu. With Dermis, and back to Andreu. Oh, no, the defence has opened up for him. Dermis has it back, and Obeka, and that's it. That is a goal. St Mirren, who haven't really come out in this uh, second half again, but they've opened up the Rangers defence on the break and, and we said in the first half that would be the way that they would do it well a real chance opened up for Rangers with this game to close the gap on Celtic but they've got it all to do now Abeka just walks into the box and a left footed side footed shot into the uh, corner of the goal and McGregor really didn't stand a chance. He was left out to dry, hung out to dry by his defence there, and he won't be happy with that. So 57 minutes on the clock, and the Rangers really need to up the game, try and get the ball worked into the box. Morais comes off. He's had a good game so far on that uh, right wing. And I assume we'll find out who has come on for him. In a few moments, uh, McAllister, there, yeah, on for Marais. So, Rangers coming forward again now. Morales has a good pass from Kamara, but uh, he's dispossessed. And that ball forward is aimless, and Rangers have it again. Kent, Kamara. Got a good ball in again, but uh, again blocked. And uh, there's a number of blocks going in from the St. Mirren defence, and now they have it to work it out. Dumas again. Uh, his ball to Obeku is cut out, and Tavernier has it now. Tavernier <laughs> runs it out of play. <laughs> He's just not having a good day today at all. Uh, Morellison comes off, and it looks like Jermaine Defoe is going to come on for him. 
He's also had a relatively slow day at the office. He's just struggled to get into a place where he can really make a difference. Oh, well done by Obrecker. He's turned his man inside out there. And has it back now. This is uh, up to Andreu. And Andreu makes a bit of space. A dumbass. But that's got to be offside. Doesn't matter anyway because the ball is too far ahead of Obrecker. And McGregor picks it up. Tavernier to Arigo. Arriba. Arriba. Apologise if I've been saying people's names wrong this whole game. So Waters. McCarthy. So up against Kent. Easily sidesteps him. Plays the long ball. And Dermas could chase this. I think he's going to get there. But no, Jack gets there first. But the pressure is on. So goes out for a St. Mirren throw in. About level with the box. They're going to take time to make a change. McPherson off as well as Tavernier for Rangers and somebody comes on for those guys so it's McGinn on for McPherson and Polster on for Tavernier so another throw in for St Mirren as well cut out from Polster Kent now plays a good ball into Defoe Defoe though he just runs into uh, his man Andreu Waters back to Andreu. Andreu cuts inside Foley. Back to Andreu and to Obeka now. He's got options. And did that take a deflection or was that just a terrible, terrible shot? We'll find out. Ah, uh, no, terrible shot it looks like. Well, he had options, didn't really need to shoot. But uh, there we go. 74 minutes on the clock but St Mirren will be happy just now to sit behind the ball and again maybe hit on the break to open up a bit of a gap Jack Naribo his pass is cut out well and Obiko now onto Waters but he's cut out well and so Defoe has the ball Barisic into Kent Kent over to Aribo, Aribo of to Defoe, Defoe runs into some trouble and Samir do get it out and now again on the break but ball forward isn't good but then he's cut out and Bikado runs into trouble and so Rangers have it back, Defoe takes it out to the wing, he's got a chance to cross it, he plays it back to Barisic, into Davis, Davis Davis has options. He decides to take the shot and it uh, drifts past the far post. So Arfield is coming on for Kamara. With eight minutes left to go, he's um, likely, unlikely to be happy with the amount of time he's got to make an impact. But Famuwa. Famuwa, uh, risky business there, playing it out from defence but he does get it clear and Obika now and Foley out to Dermas into Obika again he drifts inside of his man that's taken down it looks like there could be a card no it's just a free kick but uh, yeah just sort of fell into one another there well, you've got to say, if a goal comes from this, it's uh, game over for Rangers. Probably league over as well, because uh, you've got to take chances like this with uh, Celtic dropping points against St Johnston. Well, that's a chip. I don't know really what he was thinking with that. It uh, wasn't good, though. Well, Stephen Davis's attempt earlier, it's Ken one of the better chances that Rangers have had and, and again just not on target they've been uh, a little wasteful in front of goal but they, they haven't had a great deal of chances and that's been a credit to St Mirren's defence they've been very heavy in the defence very much sitting back but uh, <coughs> Rangers have struggled to just break them down a little Defoe here coming deep again Harfield to Defoe and to Jack. Jack plays it forward to Davis now. Davis back to Jack. 
And the ball through again, cuts out. Bicker now. Pass on to Andrea. To Bicker. Dumas. Dumas passes poor and cut out by Hollander. Jack Polster. The three minutes of uh, added time, but that will seem like an age for some mirror and it will go by so quickly for the Rangers team and fans. And especially with this uh, poor passing play, really. Rebecca now has got space and he's got Jack chasing him down, but uh, options available to him and really just playing out time. Rangers in the end didn't deserve the win so Mirren will be happy with that that's a good victory for them a very important victory as well because it uh, puts a bit of a gap between themselves and the bottom two teams uh, and closes the gap on themselves and on Ross County above them in the league so at the end of the day a uh, good victory for St Mirren St Mirren won Rangers nil. No.